and Minister Patricia Venus Henry. Join me every Sunday right here on the Tobago Inspirational Network at 9.30 p.m. for Stepping on the High Waters. Stay tuned because God is turning things around for us in this season. Hallelujah, we give God the praise. Hallelujah, we give God the praise. I say it again. Hallelujah. Hallel talks about glory. Luya to God. J A Jehovah, shortened form of Jehovah. So Hallelujah means all praises to God. Hallelujah. So over the last three sessions, we started off with Hallelujah. And again, we want our, our technician, we're going to declare it three times, and we want that starburst <laughs> as we declare it for the glory and the honor of God. So let's go. Two, three. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Two. Hallelujah. hallelujah. One more time. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Yes. Let that resonate through your house and through the rest of the week. Yes, wherever you are. Because wherever there are hallelujahs, the presence of God is. And wherever the presence of God is, in Psalm 22, verse 3, uh, a psalm that talks about Jesus' uh, suffering at his crucifixion and trial and crucifixion. Verse 3 breaks open there and says, The Lord inhabits the praises of his people but we discovered that the word inhabit really means enthrones himself so wherever you are praising god with a hallelujah glory to god whatever you are using or by doing what you are doing with excellence god rolls in to the atmosphere and what happens he sits there as a king over our situation. Amen? Right. That, that's a little lesson on why you should be worshipping. Amen. So, good morning. I'm Apostle Vivian Duncan on behalf of my wife, Apostle Gemma, and all the covenanters at Divine Destiny Worship Center, the House of Champions, where worship is a doing word, a verb, and not a noun. In welcoming you to our program, It's Your Date with Destiny. And listen, the last two sessions, we've been giving you a little peek on what happens with the worship. And last Sunday, oh, my Father in heaven, the worship just went into a whole new Zoom. Hallelujah. Uh, one of the songs I wrote, I have a passion for your presence. That's the song we went into the throne room with. And when we got into the throne room, the anointing of the Holy Ghost showed up for continuous on the spot composing of worship we're going to give you a little piece of the worship itself that song i have a passion for your presence and then i'm going to ask the technician to give us a little bit of when the anointing hit and i found myself on my knees hugging one of the posts of the pulpit and just releasing song after song and the congregation just receiving i declare it shall be so today at divine destiny again and in your space wherever you go to church receive it right now i have a passion for your presence and it's drawing me, hey. drawing me closer, closer and closer. Revelation for ever so near to your, to your throne. I can see, I can see the light of your glory, like a rainbow round your throne. I can feel your warmth. Bid me welcome home. I hear the sound. 
and it's driving me. That's what drives driving me. me. I have a passion for your presence. That's my passion. And it's pushing me. Pushing me. I have a passion for your presence. And it's drawing me. Drawing me. Oh God, I'm getting closer and closer. Ever so near. Ever so near to your throne. To your throne. I have. 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 Prophesy in song, Ebasata. Prophesy of his goodness, Eka. Not just testify, but prophesy. I am a Santa. Send out your praises as weapons of war. Out of the war room. The throne room is war room. Rabba Shata. Not your prayer room. It's the throne room that's the war room. Because in the throne room you get ammunition his glory is the ultimate weapon rapid fire tongues rapid fire worship he is not only king of kings, he is the god of war. He is the god of battles. Sabaoth is his name. Riba Sata. Rabba Kotorobo. When you are warring from the throne room, you are invincible. He turns you into a warship as you worship. Mighty God, what a mighty God you are. You're a holy God. What a holy God you are, holy God, you're a holy God, righteous God, what a righteous God you are, righteous God, you're a righteous God. Powerful God, what a powerful God you are, powerful God, you are a powerful God, oh yeah, powerful God, what a powerful God you are, powerful God, you're a powerful God. You are holy, you are righteous, you are powerful, you are holy, oh, holy God, what a holy God you are, hey, holy God, you're a holy What a holy God you are, holy God, you're a holy God, healing God, you're 
healing God you are. You're a healing God. A healing God. You're a healing God. The healing God you are. Yeah. The healing God. The healing God you are. Your healing God. The healing God you are. Yeah. Healing God. Hallelujah. God is just awesome. It makes you want to weep. Hallelujah. Then we went into our series that we are doing on mentoring. Mentoring. And we came to a part in the mentoring where we are talking about the responsibility. Yes, the responsibility of the mentee. To be positioned where it's supposed to be. But then this aspect of it, availability, you cannot have mentoring taking place without the mentee being available for the mentoring. So take in this awesome word that the Lord had us just deliver with passion. Receive it and take the cue from it. Make yourself available to God, first of all, and certainly to the one that God will have to mentor you. Amen. And then Elisha understood, I have to go back and leave properly. I have to go back and what? Leave properly. There's a science of leaving and there's also an art of leaving. And you need to know the science and art of leaving. Because you may have to come right back there. <laughs> Some people come to, to Divine Destiny. They want to join. And they come and they sit down in front of the office. In the office and they talk to me. I talk to them. Bam. Ask them certain pertinent questions but when they're leaving they leave a letter i didn't talk to a letter and vex now i didn't call them Duh. i didn't call you to come so i can call you to leave you sent me a letter so you can get a blessing for me for you to go because you got a blessing for me to come by me laying hands on you right now you're ready to leave. Uh, I, 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 uh, maybe I have to be like, like one of them cartoon things. Go, my hand going wrong corner to find out where you are. To slap it on you. No, 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 no. Tell your neighbor there's an art and science of leaving. And coming. Learn it. Right. So, the responsibility of the mentee. What's the first one? adaptability adaptability and before we even read that part this is what uh, 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 is operative in my mind at this time in, in talking about adaptability I must adapt myself to training write that down because a lot of people come into, quote-unquote, the mentor-mentee arrangement to teach the mentor. They know everything. Nothing could go into their head edgewise. No matter what the mentor says, I, I know that, I know that. And yet they end up bungling, bouncing their toe. And the funny thing, again, I tell you about getting into, quote-unquote, an accident is that other people get hurt too who did not ask for that. They didn't ask for that hurt. Why? Be because they're going about their business. And you just end up running off the road into them. 
Because when you were getting instructions, you didn't follow. Because you knew everything. I, I used to be a teacher and I knew, knew all the students who would, if, if they pass, they'll just barely pass. Because they knew everything about Columbus. They know everything about the Caribs, everything about the Arabs, everything about the Simonis, everything, everything about slaves. They knew everything and couldn't write one good essay. Although I, but, but, hey boy, one good thing about the prophetic is that it's good for exams as well. I used to talk to the Lord, Lord, what's going to come? And you know, get the past paper. He said, take three, three past papers and look at the pattern. Because history not happening anymore. <laughs> and I would tell them from January, write me up until Easter, any one of these essays you want to write, write them for me and bring them. I, I used to look at them coming out of, uh, out of the West Indian history exam and tears in the eye and some laughing and some crying. Uh, 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 um, so you were all good enough? And I would be laughing. Because the Lord, you think the prophetic is only for finding out how much money you'll get? No, boy. It's also for what questions will come. And all those who allowed themselves to be taught not only the, the, the content, but allowed themselves to be taught by being willing to accept instruction. Even prophetically, I didn't tell them to say the Lord, but I knew it was this. They got their distinctions. Do you know it's the same thing in the kingdom of God? God raises up those into whom he pours himself. And by experiences through which he brings them, they have a solid philosophy on how to live in any situation. And he now holds them responsible, responsible to what? Find others into whom they pour themselves. But the hope is that those into whom such people are pouring themselves, they, they being the mentors and the people being poured into a, the mentees, the hope is that the mentees really believe that these are not tall stories being told. These are realities that we went through and we saw them happen. We saw them come to pass. We saw them shift us from where uh, 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 others would have just passed and, and they used to do that and just watch you with a snide remark. <laughs> but now I'm wondering how you all still in this boy? How you all still spreading so? Because in our time we had nobody to mentor us where God wanted to take us because those who were supposed to thought we had gone crazy thought that we were possessed so that the, the, the anointing on my father wasn't strong enough. He cast out any kind of devil. But the one that was on us, he couldn't handle that boy. But then God orchestrated a thing. He said, you don't need one mentor. You need three. And each one that he sent us to had a particular stream along which to mentor us. One taught us excellence. He said, Viv boy, anything you're doing for God, don't be afraid to spend money for it. Buy the best. Get the best. Of course, I followed that too with my treads. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I think you carry to lunch, your next thing, come back up. You ain't even had to, to cut nothing, you just come up. You know, no, no. It must last you to the point that you give it away. And it's still looking good. Shando, amen, do shababasa. But from each, we learned what not to do. 
From him we learn what not to do. As far as relationship is concerned. That's why I still have her, she still have me after 47 years. Yeah. Going into 48. I know we do look like 47 each. But we didn't do it when we were babies. No, no, no. We, we. Hallelujah. Yeah. We went to another one and the Lord taught us how to stand on what he says to us. And we saw that brother break away from the same, uh, we can't even call it fellowship, denomination that we were in and establish himself. But when God began to speak now, to shift him forward, he had too much dead weight. Lots of the people who had left where he came out of, they were not open to the move of Holy Spirit. So when he started to move according to the Holy Spirit, they were like lead on his feet. And we, we saw that church that was the center. Uh, there's a big word that they use now. Uh, uh, the nexus, as it were. The very heart of the prophetic for a few years. Now it's almost not heard of. Because he, he came out with some people who didn't want to be mentored into the grace that he had. And the Lord taught us mentoring through that. How not to let people become suckers. They take and don't give back. They could dry you up. And his anointing continued to flow. Yes, it continued to flow. But the Lord showed me a thing in the book, uh, Building Authentic Apostolic Prophetic Associations. I, I referenced that. It was like him having an eight-cylinder sports car with brand new turbines on the inside. Revving, but going nowhere because it was resting on stilts. Lots of power, but can't go. And that's why, that's why the average person, hallelujah, that comes where we are and wants to be mentored, in short order, you could testify that you move from point one to point two. And you are moving along the continuum of the success that God has planned for you. Amen. Come somebody give God a praise like if you were like one of them. Now. And I'm being very deliberate with that today. Because we believe God has anointed us, raised us up. To raise up people who become successes. That's why we, we, we are not a, 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 a afraid to declare on radio and on TV, we are Divine Destiny Worship Center, the house of champions. So that whoever in Divine Destiny des, des, desires to go into any arena that's honest, that's God approved, you are the next champion that will be raised up. Hallelujah. We praise God again. Uh, Jesus, we are coming into the month of August. In fact, it is the month of August. And you know for the month of August, at Divine Destiny, we have Sunday sessions. Yes, for the rest of the week, even though we are online now, we take a break. So we'll have no Thursday intercession, neither will we have Friday end of the 
week service. In fact, this very week, we are going to be launching CARICAM. Hallelujah. Caribbean Kingdom Ambassadors. And the, 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 the mirror image of that is Caribbean Kingdom Apostolic Movement. You're going to hear some more about it. We are hoping to have it on the Zoom. But you just write this Thursday evening and this Friday evening and you will be able to log in and get some of it. It's going to be taking place in Antigua, Barbuda, at the St. James Hotel and Resort. Oh, Jesus, mm, it's going to be awesome. So, until we meet again, I'm Apostle Vivian Duncan, on behalf of my wife, Apostle Gemma, and the Covenanters of Divine Destiny Worship Center, the House of Champions, where worship is a doing word, a verb, and not a noun. We're declaring to you. You began life as a winner. Don't live it as a victim or die as a loser. You are a God idea. Because when God made you, he had destiny on his mind. We want to see you at any of our branches today at 9 a.m. In fact, we start at 8.45 with our intercession. We call the intercession the master key intercessors. Amen. God bless you until we meet again. La Trinity We come to thee you will never forsake You said if we We as your people Turn from our way Then you will heal yeah. Forgive our sins Hear our prayer As we all join in So we will stand We will win We will rise As the Lord comes in God this is we all Continue to reach your goals through Jesus Christ. This has been It's Your Date with Destiny, a production of Divine Destiny Media Ministry. Until next time, you began life as a winner. Don't live life as a victim or die as a loser. For when God made you, he had destiny on his mind. A minister Patricia Venus Henry. Join me every Sunday right here on the Tobago Inspirational Network at 9.30 p.m. for Stepping on the High Waters. Stay tuned because God is turning things around for us in this season.